Hey, welcome to Say Nado. Let's go up to the barn garage and see what Victor's into today. I wanted to answer a question about the rats and the dash in the Prius from my other video where I had the dash all apart and I put the screen in there to keep the rats out. And somebody asked, well, couldn't you just put that on from the outside? Well, I have this off for another repair. And as I was putting it back together, I decided I would show you where you could put the screen if you did not have the dash apart. And as you can see, that screen is going up underneath here because it's pinched in between the ductwork and the firewall from the inside where I had the dash apart. Now, if you didn't want to do that, there's plenty of room in here to make a metal screen like that and put it in here from the outside. Now, I'm not sure how well you could seal it off, but I'd like for y'all to put something in the comments below about if you were gonna put this in from the outside, this metal screen from the outside to keep the rats out without taking the dash apart, how would you affix it to the outside? I mean, would you just get creative with the duct tape? or I mean, what would you do? The Since it's metal, it is kind of malleable and you can kind of shape it see the shape that I ended up with. I understand people not wanting to take the whole dash apart. I wanted to get all the rat pee and rat's nest and everything out of there because I didn't like smelling it. And I had some other repairs to do anyway, so I just had it all apart. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. But it is accessible. Just with any other Prius repair under the hood, just be very careful of this lip of the windshield down here. This is a brand new windshield because when I was doing the head gasket, one of the bolts from the head, and I was taking it out of the big Milwaukee, and it backed the Milwaukee right up into the windshield, and bam, just like half a second. <laughs> That's all it took. It didn't just break a, a piece off the tip. Of course, this is the new windshield. You can't see it now, but it just it spread spider webs everywhere. Had I been using this little Ryobi, I, I probably wouldn't have hit the windshield, but I'm not sure this Ryobi would have had the power to take that bolt loose. In case you're wondering, I'm almost done with the 85 Corvette and the 96 Corvette. All I did was like the little hole in the door there and I'm not even finished with that. I'm not really a good body guy, so it's taken a while. And I'm not even supposed to be working on this. I gotta do that Mustang first, but I will be looking to see if there's any way you know, there's, uh, there's already metal screens here and all down through there. They seem to all be intact. There shouldn't be any of the mice or rats going through there. I need to check that on the 85 too. And the Mustang has these tight grills here. So they're probably not, a, well, no, there's a, looks like a gap right there. Uh, not really big enough for a, a mouse or a rat to get through, but there might be some on the ends. I'll need to look at that real good. Some of the other comments I get are really hard to answer by typing. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these video Q and A's. Thank you for watching. If you're still here in the video this late, you are awesome. Hey, if you like this video, we've got a whole lot more. We've got tool reviews. We've got repair videos. We've got show car videos, hot rods, mod rods, you name it, if it's got wheels on it and an engine, it's probably on this channel. So subscribe, like, and binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto. Binge watch Sane Auto.